Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is Gavin, the Great American Broadcast Network. Hey everybody, how are you? I'm Alex Bennett. I don't know, the fade button doesn't doesn't work when I push it. So uh the Alex Bramble sign, this thing here, didn't go on when it was supposed to. Oh well. You know, we try our best. You know, when I say we try our best, we try our best. And uh, look who is uh, looking into the camera. Look into the camera there. And there Hi. she is. There she is. Hello. Huh? Hello. Friday night. I'm here. Yeah, it's uh, it's Friday, so it must be... Friday. Friday. Must be Marjorie. Must be Marjorie. Yeah. I'm watching Damon put his stuff in the Damien. flashback. Damien put his you stuff in the flashback it, it, weekend. Yeah. Well, huh? No, I'm watching him put it over there. No, he's not putting flashback weekend. He's over putting there. it into flashback. No, weekend. he's not. Yes, he is. He just pulled oh, something really? out. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, it shouldn't be there. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. <laughs> I got to move this. I got to move this. Um, he shouldn't have done that. I, I didn't do something. See, I should have done that. Oh. And then it should have gone. Uh, are, you, are you seeing me over here, folks? Yeah. Uh, then I go, uh, where, where do I go? Wait a minute. I want to see there. I go here. I go to exchange. I go to there. Didn't they just pull it out? And I put it there. That's where it should go. Okay. And uh, remove from playlist. Okay. There we go. Remove from playlist. Okay, that does it. All right. I the, I was working on my on my flashback weekend and I left it up. Unfortunately. Uh. Wait a minute. Let me just stop the. Oh, yeah. We stopped that. Okay. Uh, my flashback weekend and I. Flashback. I, I screwed it up. Okay. It flashed back to you. Anyway, let's do this. Uh, Can I roll over? N no, it's it's not time yet. Why can't we do? Why can't we talk to each other in one frame? Because the sound wouldn't sound that good. And I don't want to be that close to you. L later on, we'll do it, okay? <laughs> I have had the fortunate experience this week of having two of my wives in my lifetime on the show. Two? Yeah. Ronnie was on the other day. Yeah. Yeah. Bring the mic a little closer to you. There we go. Okay. There we go. See? They can hear you mm. better. There we go. Okay. I had Ronnie on, on uh, what, uh, when, Wednesday, was it? I, yeah, Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And then I have you on tonight. Right. Two women who made a terrible choice in their life. Boy, ain't that the <laughs> truth. <laughs> and have lived to regret it. Yeah. Although I'm, I'm pretty good friends with Ronnie now. Yeah, you think you know? we'll be friends? Hmm? You think we'll be friends? Well, let's face it. This is it. This is it. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, you've now got my insurance, so yeah. it's the one good thing she's we, gotten out of this marriage. That's for sure. It's the only thing. It's the one good thing I got out of AFTRA, actually. That's right. We uh, What happened was, you were, uh, <laughs> oh God, you were with an insurance company at work. Yeah. Which they were paying. Paying 100% of our health insurance, which is very nice of a company to do. It pays 100% of your health insurance. The only problem is the health insurance we had with them uh, we are, we both have Medicare. So any other insurance we would have, a like a small work, company, yeah, so I think under sixty, yeah. Um, if some of the people that are working there are right. over sixty-five, have to go on Medicare. Yeah. So we're on Medicare. So you have so, to take Medi we have right. to take Medicare as your primary. Right. If so, you had, so if, this company, if, if I was so, still at Sirius, we could still be on the on right. The company. So this company is paying for that twenty percent. However. Tell them how much it was costing Wait a minute. me a year. However, because we're a small company, they were charging my company as if we were like under 65, as if it was like a normal policy, which came out to about $21,000 a year for both of us. Yeah. 
which so, is amazing because it only covers that 20 percent and we still had to have a thousand dollar deductible on that 20 percent yeah yeah three thousand yeah. out of network so, on that 20 percent. what happened was they weren't even though we were using it as our secondary they weren't charging for it like a secondary so we were still paying a thousand dollars minimum you know you had to for your deductible and and we never get up to that deductible for the 20 percent because of the 20 percent you know it, it 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 was horrible and her company was paying what 21,000 21,000 a year for a year. both of us so all of a sudden i get this thing the first of the year in the mail from sag from sag from my uh, sag after um screen actors guild and the american federation of television and radio artists uh, and it says, oh, you're eligible for uh, our senior plan, meaning that I could have a secondary through them. And uh, so they said, and it's, uh, it costs $178 a month. <laughs> I went, what? <laughs> you know, if I, if I went right now just by myself to ARP and got ARP supplemental, it would cost me about $250. Well, we're something Right, like but wait a minute, let me finish this. So then I look and I see, well, let's see how much it is for two of us. And it's $178 a month. But it doesn't change. And I said, well, how much would it be if I had some, we had some kids or something? And it was still $178 doesn't a change. month. Doesn't so she change. called them up and said, is this for real? And they said, absolutely. And she said, welcome aboard. <laughs> so the two of us would have had to pay, oh, I would say somewhere in the neighborhood for ARP supplemental of at least 400 a month. Easily. For... for I would say maybe two fifty. Yeah. So for half of that, yeah. we're getting everything. You know, we're getting the drugs, we're getting the dental, we're getting the vision, we're getting the doctors, that the whole thing, and and it, and it's costing a little over two thousand dollars a year. She saved her company nineteen thousand dollars a year, and they're paying, still paying, they're paying, they're paying this, they're paying this. So, you know. And it's a great, it's a, I think it looks like it's a very good plan. I've been told it's a great well, plan. Well, our fallback is we can always go back on that. We can always go back to Oxford. Do you know, I got to tell you, this is, this, now, you see, I mean, the reason why we talk about medical shit around this program is because we're up to our ass in medical shit, right? We're at that age. Uh, no, but the reason that we bring it up is, and you're all going to have to go through it, is that it, it, it. Or you may be going through it right now. Well, it, yeah. Yeah. But it. It costs um, uh, a lot of money, even when you're old, because if you've got Medicare, see, Medicare should take care of 100%. That's the, the one bad thing about Medicare. It should take care of 100%, but it takes care of 80%. So you have to come up with the other 20%. Well, let's say you get something that, and it's, this is not impossible, it would cost you $150,000. Well, 80% is very nice that they're paying for it, but... 20% of that is, let's see here, of $150,000 would be $30,000. And who has that Do you have 30000 So then you have to get the supplemental insurance. And some of these supplementals are not cheap. That's you know. Are not expensive. Yeah, are not cheap. That's right. So really, here you are. You're an old person. You're on a fixed income. And, and you need to be taken care of medically, and it's very hard to, to come up with that. So Anyway, we found this. My union is wonderful. Actually. Yeah, and we have it for life. Yeah. Did they say for life? Yeah. Yeah. Well, they, they, they're just praying that we don't live too long. <laughs> so what, what it's all they're going about. by the numbers. But it, it, it's just, you know, we were really happy that uh, this came along. It was, it was a nice little thing. Yeah. Um, a uh, little present to get towards the end of my life, you know. So now we can go to doctors like crazy, and we no, we still we still have to pay at the door though. I think we still have. I think I don't know uh, because the plan that we saw is really the overall plan and may not apply to supplemental. Oh, I did that printout. Yeah, yeah. So you should we'll look at it. We later. should should look at it and see. I, I don't know. We might have to pay. You know, thirty five dollars a visit copay, maybe. Maybe, but I don't know uh, because a lot of that. I won't get the two hundred dollars every six months for gym reimbursement. You don't know that. I, I'm sure. I, I'm, what they used to reimburse you for going to the gym? If I went fifty times in a six month period, I got two hundred dollars. You mean to say, if in a six month period I went down the block and registered, registered, yeah, that they knew you were in there, yeah, and that, then you get a printout after six months and you send it to yeah. the insurance. And company. I don't even have to work out. 
Right. Get two hundred dollars. Get two hundred dollars. Boy, that's a deal. Maybe yeah. we should go back to Oxford. <laughs> you know. Um, but anyway, so um, um, let me see here. So what 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 else is new? That you is there anything you want to talk about? Nothing. I I'm I'm so sick of politics. It's like uh, I. I don't even want to watch the news. We watched week. a really great movie tonight. Yes. I won't say how we watched it, but this every <laughs> every now and then, well, I, you know, I, I don't go through. Uh, no, but every now and then something falls I, out I, of the sky. Yeah, they fall out of the sky. It was I. Like, it was on. Uh, I was. I had my. You were surfing know, on the computer. I, and you I, found I was it. surfing on the computer. Let me. Uh, well, we found this movie, and you know what happens is this is award season. And all these pictures come along that are nominated for awards, one award or another. And you begin to wonder, uh, gee, were there any other pictures that could have been nominated? But what happens is... This fell through the cracks. Well, no, it didn't fall through the cracks exactly. Let me explain something Wait, let me just say something. It opened up in October, and that's when all the prerequisite for possible Uh, awards start coming out. But you also have to have the money and the wherewithal and the PR to, and, and the, the PR marketing to push it for the Oscars. Now, I've seen a lot of the Oscar nominated films this year and so have you. Yeah. Uh, and um, in fact, we've probably seen most of the Oscar nominated films this year. And the film we watched tonight was as good if Absol- not better than absolutely. any of those. The, I mean, I thought it was a made for television movie because I it's like I heard about it but you didn't really know about it. Yeah, Never and what really? it was is it's called Marshall, and it's about uh, uh, about uh, Mar- Marshall's uh, department store up in Chicago. No, no, it's about Thurgood Marshall, who became the first, first black Supreme Court, Court justice. justice, and he um, in the thirties. In the thirty, I think it's thirties, maybe it's in the thirties because yeah. they were talking Late about 30s, one of the yeah. Poland or one of the countries yeah, was yeah, occupied. Yeah. Uh, and and he was a lawyer for the NAACP, and this is like one case. Yeah, probably one of his smaller. It's cases. not his big case. It's not Brown versus the Board of Education, which he later went on to and won. to win. Uh, but uh, it, it it's a movie about him taking a case in Connecticut, I think. Yeah, and the, just the racism involved in just trying to what was happening in those days. I mean, they say that racism was only in the South. It really wasn't. It he, was all over. He the couldn't place. even be, the, even though he was a full fledged lawyer who had, who had, had uh, credentials. Had credentials. He had he'd spoken before the Supreme Court. All of those things. Pled before the Supreme Court. He couldn't in, uh, Connecticut in Connecticut because the judge wouldn't admit him because he wasn't part of the Connecticut bar and they wouldn't give him the right. So he he couldn't talk in the trial so he had this white lawyer that he was coaching and it is a just it's one of those films after you were through watching you went now why wasn't this nominated and the yeah. reason it wasn't nominated is nobody put it up for nomination nobody pushed it nobody saw it i mean yeah you know there was no buzz on it yeah and it's a well, great, i read and, the review in the times they said the only bad thing was her what what's her name Goldie Horn's daughter? Yeah, um, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, she was the bad threat. Well, she's never been a <laughs> particularly good actress, but the actors in the film, for instance, as an example, Josh Gad plays the white lawyer. Uh, who the is white Jewish lawyer. Just a Jew, white Jewish lawyer who's incredible Absolutely. in this film. It may be one of the best things he's ever done, even better than being the snowman in Frozen, <laughs> you know, uh, or... or of being the sidekick to the guy in Beauty and the Beast. That's right. Uh, uh, Dan Stevens is in this film playing the prosecutor. Dan Stevens is from Downton Abbey, Abbey. and he was the Beast in Beauty and And the the Beast. And the Beast. You know, with Josh Gad. British British actor. (laughs) Yeah. So that's another person who's in this picture. Sterling K. Brown plays the defendant. Right. This This is the guy who's won... Emmy's up his ass. I mean, every time he turns around and does something, he wins an Emmy for it. And he, you know, he's on This Is Us. This Is Us, which know. is my favorite. And is just, in this film, I really came to appreciate him because he does play somebody other than the character he normally plays. Right, he's so not playing the lawyer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's playing the accused. In the O.J. Simpson thing that he won for, he played a yeah, lawyer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway. Uh, and the star of the film and producer 
is Chadwick Bo that. Bozeman. No, my ear is but itching. Only... It's itching from <laughs> this, okay? The star of the film is Chadwick Bozeman. Now, if the name isn't familiar, need I, I have to live with? Need I say Black Panther? <laughs> that, that, that dark movie that we didn't see. The movie we never saw. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, 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 he he was the star of Black Panther, and he produced this film as well. Mm -hmm. And it is if you if, if you get a chance, I'm sure. And the judge, the judge is jo James Cromwell. is terrific. <laughs> yeah, in it. you know, just this superb cast. cast. It's a good ensemble. It's a great ensemble, and it's a gr it's a great pick. <laughs> and and, it wasn't nominated for anything. Yeah. But you know, it's, but uh, definitely I'm, see I'm it. I'm sure if Chadwick you... Boseman says, "Ah, fuck all y'all! I did Panther, and I'm going to be in the big bucks for a long time." Right, now. I've made you my know. entrance. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, in fact, I was looking at one scene. There's Dan Stevens, and there's uh, Josh Gad, and which and, and 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 Chadwick Boseman, and I'm thinking, let's see here. He doesn't need this film because he's Black Panther. He doesn't need this film because he's the Beast in Beauty and the Beast, which was the number one box office hit of last year. Until this came along. Uh, well, this is going to be the big one and, this year. And, and uh, they're going to have to do over a billion. Beauty and the Beast worldwide did over a billion. Wow. Anyway, and, and Josh Gad, of course, was in Beauty and the Beast, and he was also the snowman in Frozen. And, I'm and saying, he was also these the star people, on um, the Book of Mormons. He was in, uh, in we saw him on Broadway in Book of Mormon, and he also had a show with uh, Billy Crystal. Remember that thing? Oh, yeah, the, which was really cute. It was a good show. Yeah. Uh, FX canceled it. Anyway. Because they're Jewish. The fact is that, that these are... People who normally you see you've, have, have made their name in other ways, doing straight acting and just a brilliant job. It was it. it was really good. It, it's a nice little. Piece. Yeah, it was one of those films that when you're through with it, you look at each other and go, "That was good." There was no yeah. lull in it. I mean, it just went on. It just it was it was very complete. Yeah. Now, I, I, by the way, last night I was watching it because it, it, it was it, there's nothing to watch. Okay, I usually like uh, record stuff and so on and then watch it after the show so I have something to watch at night when I'm trying to go to sleep. No shows this week. It's you and your fucking goddamn... Yeah, give me the finger. Your you're, you're, you're Olympics, you know. Nobody wants to do anything opposite the Olympics, chicken. <laughs> uh, so I was catching up on some stuff I had just grabbed off the internet and there was a documentary on Chernobyl. Now, um, call me an idiot, all right? But I didn't realize that Chernobyl was as bad an incident as it was. I, I mean, didn't either. I thought it was just the area around Chernobyl. I thought it was just Chernobyl yeah. and people had to move out of Chernobyl and whatever. No, this thing, this cloud permeated all of Europe and affected the crops. The crops that were just growing or the, new the crops? crops that were growing. It affected the animals and sure. the milk, for sure. instance, they were producing or the beef they were producing. Wow. They showed a whole place where they had milk that was, I think, dried or powdered milk they had made. The, and they had flats and flats and flats of it in this big warehouse. All contaminated. It contaminated. They couldn't do anything with it except let it just sit there. They couldn't bury it because it would go into the groundwater. Oh, my God. You know, yeah. I mean, this was terrible. And Chernobyl, I mean, the half-life of, of Chernobyl is going to be the next thousand years. Oh, yeah. Well, that radiation is still there. And they sent people in to try and fix that thing, all of whom died of radiation poisoning within a year. Yeah, you said they not, didn't have hazmats uh, on. Or... And well, then what they did is they, got, they built suits with fronts and stuff with lead on them and then they timed them for 15 minutes and said don't spend more than 15 minutes going into the pile this is after they've gone in so without they anything. finally they finally they built a a covering for it a and the covering, covering was so badly built that it started rotting away right away and then all of a sudden there was the whole uh you know overthrow of the communist government and and the doing away with communism that everybody forgot to do anything about Chernobyl. <laughs> and it was, the, the, the covering was getting worse and worse. There was more stuff leaking out and it was just terrible. And of course the town next to it, it which was built to service Chernobyl. Gone. People, nobody living there, it's like a ghost town. So anyway, 
uh, uh, they finally, the, uh, a bunch of countries got together and each put in $1.3 billion to contain it. And what they did was they, it was very, uh, I have to say, this was brilliant. They couldn't go and work where the building was because that would have just, there was too much radiation still. And you couldn't get anybody to work there for more than a couple of minutes without them having this turn around. So how do you build something to cover it? What they did is down a little bit down the road, they built this giant covering. Took them, I don't know, a year to build. And then you moved and it? And then they slid it over the building. <laughs> and that's how they built the thing. Wow. But, and that's what's there now. But it, I didn't realize that it was the impact that it had. Uh, on the area, and it was just absolutely terrible. I'm getting things ready here. Don't I, get. I, it's, don't, well, it is 10:26. I'm just saying. All I'm saying is, is that they really that that was really a disaster. It, that was you know, yeah. far more of a disaster than I ever realized until I watched this. Thing I, last I didn't night. think it was that big. Yeah. I mean, but crops that were growing. But what about future crops? What about the soil? Um, I I think. They they turned over the soil enough in, in rotating the crops and stuff that they managed to somehow dissipate it. In it, Europe, it, but it, not necessarily, yeah. Oh, but no, in, in Russia, in that part of Russia. Nothing goes. Uh, it, that's still, you know. they There are tourists that go there now. I because know. The, uh, they want to see it. Well, the uh, uh, radiation is down to somewhat of an acceptable level unless you touch something. <laughs> so they tell people you can come in, but don't touch anything. So they have this, these tourists who are going to see this ghost town and to see that building, you know? And uh, it, it's, a, it's a big tourist destination, but you got, can't stay there very long. <laughs> and I think I'll pass, that's not on my uh, bucket list. Yeah, let's go visit a deer, where are we going? I, want, I finally decided I'm gonna take you on a vacation. Oh, where are we going? Chernobyl. Well, that's what Jack says. He says, I'm finally taking her on vacation, and where do they go? Auschwitz. <laughs> yeah, but Jack, our friend who, who, you know, is a concentration camp survivor, took his girlfriend on a vacation, and it was because they were making a film about him. And so where did he take her on vacation? Auschwitz, <laughs> you know, which is uh, still there, of course. I mean, you know, they, I think they tore down a lot of the other ones, but no, that they one made, they made, they made museums about no, a lot some, of them. Some of them, but not all of them. I think they got rid of a lot of them. Uh, you know, uh, Auschwitz had such a reputation. You know, a lot so of them did. I'm hoping tonight when we do this show tonight that I don't have to take a crap. Well, I'm going to bed because in about I had three I had the, I had the trots the today. Girl is rolling uh, I over. had the trots today. Here she comes, Here she ladies comes. and gentlemen. Uh, She's uh, coming in. Shall I turn on the? Uh, yeah. You want, you want me to turn it on? Okay. Hold on a second. I will. I will turn on the phones. No, I, I've been. I, I, I've been having. Um, uh, hold on a Alex, second. I got to get rid. Of, I got to get rid of some stuff. Just stay there for a second, and then I will move. Okay. Jeez, Almighty. You don't. Uh, you don't let up, do you? Nope. There. I had to do some stuff. I, I have work to do here. There we go. Now you can All come right, in here, and I'll even turn the mic more towards you, Thank so they you. can you can they can hear you. Thank you. I really have to get my I have to get something so I can use Bluetooth earphones with this. Yeah, and not you have should to be able this, to. This thing. Well, how about the the things that you just you know, got? I bet I don't have Bluetooth in this computer. Can't you put it in? Well, I'm looking into that. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm there there, there we go. Anyway, this is my wife. By the way. Hi, honey. Come on, just no. uh, let me, come on, come on, no. come on. Do you want me to say what I said? Let me the rub, taxi? rub the. Do you want me to say? <laughs> See, what I'm doing is I'm growing a beard for the same reason that David Letterman grew one. I think he wanted to piss off his family. And he did. And so I, uh, I've been growing a beard here. I probably will get rid of it. I think you should. But not yet. Just Not until it. I see what it looks like. You know, you may find me looking very handsome. I doubt it. Hmm? Does this look ugly, folks? Is this horrible? By the way, the lines are open. Yeah, Did call. I mention that? Call. It's 1030, yeah. and this girl has to get up really early tomorrow. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 So she wants to go to bed. See how many, a lot of people watching. Where? Right there. Yeah. And so that's a lot for us. Watching now. Hi. Yeah. yeah. I won't be happy until I see hundreds up there. 
But that'll never happen because nobody wants to listen to old, old people. people. <laughs> it's true. It's, it's true. Yeah, we should start a show called Nobody Wants to Listen to Old People. I am marginally accepted in my office. <laughs> yeah, what do you mean you're marginally well, accepted? Well, I mean, they're all so young. Yeah, but they say they can't live without you. No, I'm the glue. I'm the, I'm the glue that keeps the office oh, together. It, 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 and so is an old horse. <laughs> <laughs> they become the glue. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we're sitting here waiting for you to call. The lines are open. Where is everybody when you need them? Uh, they're nowhere. Is it a feel-free night? No. No, it's not a feel-free. Oh, I, we could say it was, and then people would call. That's true. It's yeah. a feel-free night. No, it's not. It's a feel-free night. No, no it's, it's not. a feel-free night. No. Well, only Wednesday was a fill-free night this no, week. No, I thought it was a couple of days. Huh? Maybe no, it was the week no, before. that last week was two days. There was two days. Well, Jeff Stein is calling, so he's our first. Uh, he's our first caller. Uh, he's our. Hey. There, there he is uh, from Connecticut, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. What? See? What is this? Yours is nice. Well, his has grown oh. out. I mean, do you see any hair on this face? I mean, look at it. How? <laughs> if you can pull on it. You know, uh, you know, and none of us have a beard like uh, like uh, uh, Kevin. Kevin's got he's got a real beard. Well, he, he's got a real man's beard. He has a beard he uses as a profession. I know. Uh, he because he plays Santa. I know. At, at Santa Claus time. That's true. Yeah, yeah. So how are you tonight, uh, my friend? Good. We're very good. Yeah. Today, I don't know. I went to the gym today. And Me too. Home again. Yeah, well, I'm going to be going to the gym at least uh, once a month now. You're going to be going <laughs> by the gym. By the gym, You're because it's, 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 it's right gym. next door to where our new place to get our prescriptions is. So, you know. Um, hey, Charlene. Well, oh, hey, Charlene's yeah. calling here. Let's see here. Uh, there she is. Uh, hello, Charlene. How are you? Oh, Charlene, there, there she, she is. is. There's Charlene. Hey, how you doing? Oh. <clears throat> Hi. Now, Hi. The question is, where's Phil? It's a Phil free night. Phil free Please night. call. Phil f no, it isn't a Phil free night. Well, it is. Do you see Phil? Yeah, I so guess it's a you're right. Night. So far, it's a Phil free, free night. night. Yeah. Uh, you know, Alex. Yeah. You know, um, I don't know how you get in that chat room on YouTube, but when you go to Facebook, it takes you right to YouTube now, right? You know that, right? Yeah. And then I watch. Well, in the Facebook, now. Facebook doesn't take it. You no, know, YouTube. You if you click it. on, you post it on. I Facebook. post it on there, and then so you click on that. it, and then yeah. it takes yeah. you over to the uh, to the program. Yeah. That's really cool, and the the uh, the quality is great. Oh, yeah. The quality, like, uh, this tonight. YouTube quality, I've been amazed with. It's very good. Uh, the, uh, you know, when I did uh, Facebook, I could count that every now and then it would either go down, or I'd have to reboot it, or start it, or whatever. This has always been rock solid. And mm -hmm. I think it's because YouTube really knows what they're doing for a business. You know? yeah, and you know, I, I don't know if anyone knows, like I can go to YouTube on my smart television yeah. and I watch it all the time like that. It's yeah. like a TV show. Yeah, 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 if you, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if you've got a smart TV and you've got YouTube on that smart TV, which most of them do, and in fact, if you've got FiOS, FiOS actually has it as part, YouTube as part of the FiOS system. Right, I have it. It's eight thirty-seven. You know, it, it, something like that. Anyway, what happens is, is you can then say Alex Bennett, for instance, right now, and it'll bring mm -hmm. up the show that we're doing, and you can watch it. Look at that. Look at that number. Wow. Wow. Yeah, you can you can look you can look at us on uh, on uh, on 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 um, Roku. Well, on, on, Roku. Or, on Roku, you can use live stream. You can any anything that where you can get YouTube. You just put in Alex Bennett, and it'll you'll find my uh, my channel with the, the live show going on or the shows that have been had gone on. You know, before. replays. Uh, and then, then you'll get to see all the people that called. Yeah, all two of them. Okay. Uh, you know, I was going crazy. Was it last night that you were talking about, like, children? And I have a children. You have, have a son. children? <laughs> and, oh, my God, like, um, my, a lot of my friends now, you know, you're, we're having a lot of trouble with them, like. Yeah. And uh, you guys, would well, you know, you're talking about the feel-free night. You know, Phil's theory is that, like, they're all on drugs that their parents give them and all that stuff, you know. Yeah. But it's just it's just scary, these millennials, you know, because, yeah. uh, 
you know, yeah. they're very scary because they they're always on the computer and they're on yeah. the phone. It's totally different. The house it's totally, and, you know. totally different. Hi, yeah. there's Vernon Nunn. Hey, Hi, Vernon. Vernon. How are you this and evening? And with that, I'm going to say good night. Uh, mm-hmm. All right, good, good night. night. Nice seeing you. Everybody, good night, Marjorie. Say, Take care. Say, Bye-bye. Say good night to girlfriend. Good Everybody night. can watch your walk out of the room. I have you? clothes on. She, you bet your life you better have clothes on, otherwise I wouldn't have turned the camera on like <laughs> that. Fine. Okay. Have a good night. Yeah, well. It's Miss Friday night. Huh? That's Miss, miss Friday Miss night. Friday night, or yeah, or don't miss Friday night, something like that. Anyway, uh, where is Phil? That's strange. He usually calls by now. Oh well, I don't think he's mad at us. He had a perfectly fun night last night. Um, um, no, I don't. Yeah, think... Alex. Yeah. You know, um, who, what's your other wife's name again? Um, Ronnie. Yeah. She was really good too. I watched it like a television show. Yeah, it had great quality, and uh, she's like a great woman to listen to and stuff with her stories. And that, yeah. I mean, of course, her health story yeah. is amazing, right? Well, she for the longest time. If anybody wants to read a very interesting blog, it's called TimeGoesBy.net, and it is a blog she does about what it's like to get old, and all the problems with being old and. You know what you what you're doing when you know what to do when you're old, and it's uh, it uh, uh, it's really very good. She's very much an expert on aging, uh, having done it herself. And but what's interesting is she got pancreatic cancer, and what she said to me was the other day on the show was that she thought she knew everything about getting old, right? Because she'd become an expert on it. Mm-hmm. She said I had no idea till I got pancreatic cancer what it's like to get old. You know, she said, I had no idea how profound disease affects your life, you know, and, and kind of, uh, you probably know that yourself just from your own experience, right, Jeff? I think so. Yeah. It, it uh, you know, it, it, it depends. A lot of people think it's like they have heart surgery and this and that. Yeah. And it takes a long time. And I remember one surgery where... What my wife said, the day that I woke up, yeah. so to speak, I was like a hundred years old immediately. Mm-hmm. I just I just had no energy, no strength. Yeah. Could hardly say anything. It, it was just like they took everything out of you. Yeah. Of course that was a ten ten hour surgery. Yeah. Well, so her they were surgery, pretty tired themselves. Her surgery, if I remember correctly, was something like either 14 or 17 hours. I could have been. Now, wow. d- does a doctor sit there and do an operation for that long, or do they have other people <laughs> that take over for them and they go out for a cup of coffee? Right. Does he have breaks? Nope. Right. Really? They're in there for that long? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I... I, I, I've, I huh? I've been in many surgeries, uh, <coughs> you know, because I developed products and so i've been to lots of surgeries and i've seen some yeah that are 10 hours and sometimes the other doctor yeah like his boss would come in and say come on buddy let's get over it yeah well wow. we, we need other people to use the room kind of thing <laughs> well i don't know what but, yeah I somebody's don't... waiting but, yeah yeah I, yeah I, I don't but realistically everybody was concerned that yeah. if it takes too long it affects the the patient well i right, mean you're right. you're yeah, if you're going to be under the the juice for that long That's you true. know it, it's got to be you know i don't know what it's even like to wake up from something like that I alex mean, oh you know i've never see, look uh, do you see my hand yeah what happened i had a uh, Remember I told you I had, like, trigger finger and carpal tunnel? Yeah. yeah. Well, they did this surgery. I don't think it was that long. It was, like, maybe an hour or two. Yeah. But get this, Alex. The the anesthesiologist told me um, that I have a very small throat, so I shouldn't have been in a surgery center. And I said to him, oh, my God, am I Joan Rivers? Like, they weren't laughing. <laughs> People out here don't have a Oh, you want to hear a funny laughing. story. Uh, Remember Joan Rivers went to the surgery center and for her vocal cords and you know, like they, she passed away. He told me that if they ever had to intubate me, mm-hmm. like I should be in a hospital because of my small throat or something. Yeah. 
I mean, I thought that was Well, wild. girlfriend had to have some kind of surgery, procedure, right? and I can't remember what it was. And what happens now is a lot of doctors who normally used to do procedures in their office or they had their own operating room. I mean, like my, my uh, gastroenterologist had an operating room in his office so he could do colonoscopies and things like that. But now he can't do that. They passed a law where you have to use these these medical centers or whatever. They're not necessarily hospitals, but they're they're. they're well, anyway, girlfriend had to go get something done, and I can't remember what it was now. And she had me pick her up, so I drive over there to pick her up, and I suddenly realize where she was ha being put out under was the place where Joan Rivers died. Oh no! You're kidding, yeah, Alex. Yeah, yeah. They were taking selfies of themselves with Joan. <coughs> yeah, in that place well, uh, yeah, too. yeah, yeah. But, they but, got in trouble for but that. But no, but I, she was, she was just, she, and I went, I, I know this place. I've seen this on TV. This mm. is, this is the, I don't know, it's called the Manhattan something or another. Her yeah. daughter, Search Center, Search Center, Search Center is what they call them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the daughter can't discuss how much the settlement, you know. But she got a settlement with them, and you know. Yeah, well, you yeah, know, I think she'd much rather have her mother. But oh, I you know, know. It's, yeah, that 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 was one of those kind of tragedies that happens that could have been prevented. You know. I know that was awful. And it was just. I love Joan. That's why. That's why. Anytime you go in for anything, uh, and you you know, uh, you go in for something very simple. Uh, what? Who is? Who is Max Min? I have no idea who Max Min is, but I can't grab him and put him on the air because uh, he isn't uh, one of us. Uh, but wait a minute. I could probably call him. Oh, wait a minute. I'll bet he asked to be accepted. Yes. Okay, Max. Let me call you now and add you to the group and see if uh, who the hell Max Min is. Um, let me see if... Uh, I'm, yeah, there we go. Let's see. Is this somebody we know? Of course. Is that... Mm -hmm. Who is that? It's Max. How are you? It's Max. I haven't seen you. Oh, in from Germany. Well, I haven't seen you in a long time. Max is calling us from Germany, folks. Uh, Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Uh, uh, yeah, I was watching. There's a show on, uh, on Netflix uh, that uh, was made in Germany. It was the most expensive TV show ever done in Germany called Berlin Babylon. Uh, and it's, uh, I've been watching it. It was done by the guy who did Run Lola Run. Uh, somebody's and, making a lot of noise. Yeah, somebody is making a lot of noise. And I don't know who that is. But you're being bad. Um, uh, and show us more of your face. Max, you, you just, we just, there, there we go. You can, yeah, yeah, oh, there. You see? I can modify the stuff. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, and I, uh, uh, I, it's funny about German as a language. I call it funny English. You can kind of almost understand it. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's not easy. Yeah. Uh, one night, I, well, one day I was in, uh, I was in Germany. I was watching Family Feud in German. <laughs> and, with Richard Dawson and or? you know he'd say something like <laughs> asking the question somebody would say what it was and he'd say give me Hansel and Gretel <laughs> and you know you go, I, gee I know how to speak German uh, but anyway how y'all doing uh, I came up with a theory today you know we've been for the last uh, many nights uh, we have been, uh, gee, I hope Phil's okay tonight. You know, he usually calls early. Yeah, I thought he would call in when you it, talk about him. It, it, does. Yeah, yeah. It was pretty quiet last night. He was, he kind of died out last night. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, but, uh, Phil, if you're listening, we want to hear from you. Um, uh, it's not the same without you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, ratings. Um uh, we don't have anybody but to pick on. This could bring him out. This could bring him out of the woodwork. I thought suddenly there was some conversation going on on television tonight. It, it turns out now that several companies are refusing to do business with the NRA. Mm -hmm. um, um, uh, these are companies that they rely on for, like Hertz. They said we're no longer going to give a deal to members of the NRA. MetLife was one. MetLife was another one. Uh, several credit card companies that have issued NRA them. credit cards are doing away with the NRA credit cards. 
And so then something was brought up as a side kind of thing, just as an offshoot of what they were saying. And I went, God, that's a great idea. You know, the question is, and it continues to be, what do we do about the, the, the whole gun thing? How do we, how do we uh, stop guns from being sold? And somebody said, why don't we start urging the credit card companies to refuse to use, allow their credit cards to be used to buy guns? Oh, that's a good idea. You know, if all of a sudden Visa, MasterCard, American Express said, we're going to we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna pull our stuff away from all the gun stores in America uh, for, for credit cards, uh, that would help. You Alex, know? I think you had the best idea that uh, you can own all the guns you want, but they have to be insured. Well, that's it's another thing. But but just if the if the credit card companies would just say, hey, you know, we're Visa. We're not going to allow people to buy guns with a Visa card. We're not going to allow people to buy guns with a with a Master card or a Diners Club card. Can you imagine buying a Diners uh, using buying a gun with a Diners Club card? Yes, <laughs> yes, Max. Actually, much easier would be just treat guns like DMV. I, I believe in California, every five years, I have to go back in and recharge or renew my license. Mm -hmm. The same should be done with everything else. We can't qualify or you can't do some proper test. Like yeah, what happens with a gun license? Like you get it once and you never have to renew it again? or It's permanent. Oh, that's crazy. I uh, should have to check in, right? Well, do you have to get do you have to get an actual gun license in a lot of states? Yeah. Well, it's the permit. Well, it's, it's a permit. It's a permit. It's a, like a hunter. Yeah. Has okay, a so you don't, you don't have to show any expertise or anything. You don't have to show that oh. you understand safety. You don't have to under, you don't oh. have to understand anything about the gun. No proficiency or anything like That's that. That's terrible. All right. So, yeah. Wow. Wow. Mm hmm well, anyway, so I thought that that was a great idea, you know, that, that we should all get together and urge our credit card companies uh, to, to do that. Uh, they can certainly, you know, when people want to sell stuff in a store, they have to apply to MasterCard to get the right to use MasterCard or to use Visa or whatever. Um, you know, I'm, the only I'm thing, the only thing, the only problem I see with that is that it takes away traceability. The, you know, it could be good to have traceability. Well, you know? I, I think it would make it harder for people to buy guns, or it would, it would it stop harder, them yeah. from being able to buy them as fast as they buy them. You know, the speed, Maybe the rapidity with which you buy them uh, would be no. inhibited somewhat. Uh, so I see that as a possibility. Yes. Yeah. Great. Right. Uh, right. I like the I like the idea. I'm just wondering though if uh, if one of the cards didn't cooperate, then. The, the store, say MasterCard was the only one that wouldn't do that, then the, the store would just make it really easy to get a MasterCard. They would you capitalize get, on it. Yeah, I mean, I've, right. I've gone to Best Buy and gotten a Visa in 10 minutes, and then I got a $25 rebate, and then I canceled it. I mean, they could... They, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So they could just do stuff like well, that. Well, well, the thing is that if you could get two of them to do it, the rest <laughs> of them would do it, too. Because they wouldn't want to look bad, and you yeah, would have true. you would have the uh, the Cabela's who carries the Visa, the Bass Pro Shops that carries the Visas. They're not going to do it, obviously, for those reasons. Right. No. Right. Right. Um, uh, we've been joined by Renee, by the way, who's showing us. Oh, there we go. There's the sky in Hawaii. We never actually see Renee anymore. We just see it's a travel. Cloudy in Hawaii. <laughs> huh? It's cloudy in Hawaii. Yes, it is. It is quite cloudy. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah. Down a little more. Down. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, we, 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 we had that. Uh, we'll see the sunset this time. Yeah. You know. That's so, awesome, yeah. Yeah. That's, it is awesome. Yeah. That's right. um, um, well, yes, uh, Max. There's actually two cases. Your theory is quite good, except that most Wait a minute. Let me, hold on. Hold on a second. Just a second, Max. If you can hear me, Renee, uh, mute your microphone because the wind is uh, 
is. I don't really have a microphone. I'm talking to a. Uh... No, not you. No, it's uh, Renee. Yeah, it's Renee. Renee. I said Renee. Yeah. She's got the wind is. There we go. Very well. You did oh, it there for back. a second, Renee. But there we go. Oh, oh well, I don't know. Did, uh... Renee, can you hear me? <laughs> she can't even hear me. Just turn your <laughs> mic that off. Mute your mic. Mute. Uh, Mute. Uh, there we go. No? No? <laughs> no? <laughs> no just anyway, stop. Max, tr try and talk over the wind. Well, okay. My dad loves guns. God bless his soul. And, um, but he normally pays cash and normally goes to a gun show in order yeah. to buy his whatever he whatever he buys yeah so that's one problem with it that's one problem with it but just one option is whenever i transfer money from us us dollars to euros anything more than ten thousand i have to contact irs or irs knows because of traceability so from bank of america the deutsche bank and then to my account yeah so there has to be that way there's there's a line of uh Trace where you can trace it back to a source account. Right. Why do you can't? If the IRS is that particular, obviously the IRS has to do because of money purposes. And I understand this. Why not apply the same theory over to guns? So you had to have a source destination. You yeah. know, and use it with a some like ATF or gun, whatever. But there's the gun obviously is. a reason why yeah. they've never done it, and they aren't doing it, right? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Well, well, this, this is, this is, wait a minute. Hold on. This is driving me nuts. Renee, can you hear me? Renee? Let's see if I maybe we can send her a chat message. Hang send right, her hang on a chat quick. message. Yeah. Tell, tell. Oh yeah, Renee. Women. I I see she has chat on here. I could. I. Uh, uh, oh, there we go. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, wait, hold on. Well, she was calling on another line. She was using another phone, to, another uh, machine to do it. Oh well. She's probably well, your birds. Still the wind. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's nice to hear the birds. Oh, listen to that. That's nice. Where the hell's a chat go? There it is. Yeah. No, that's not it. Well, the chat on, uh, she's on the chat on. Uh, um, there it is. I got it. What, oh, you got her on, on YouTube chat? Uh, let's see here. Renee. Renee. Uh, the wind is too loud. Um, mute. Oh, I see it. Renee, mute the window came up. Yeah. Mute the uh, uh, oh, what? Just mute. <laughs> I just told her to mute it, but I don't know if she sees it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The wind is too loud. Mute. Uh, Renee, yeah, mute, please, says, Renee says, yes. Okay, Renee got our message. But now let's see if she mutes it. Anyway, I have a y yes, Ray. I, I have a question, Max. What what are what are you thinking that uh, having the IRS do that uh, traceability on guns, what would that, how would that prevent gun violence, though? It, you know what, the IRS controls funds. So I guess the agency would be, ATF, I think they, that would be an agency. But even yeah. then, you couldn't. But you still couldn't trace it. Here's an example. Just say I buy something. It doesn't matter what it is. Okay. But, and, so wait a second. You, can you hear me? Yes, I yeah. can hear you. Yes. But can I? yeah, but if and you, the wind. And but you mostly the me? mostly. So I can't turn you on. I can't turn you off. Mostly the wind. Mute the you microphone. Can, I don't know. You can mute them. You can mute the microphone on. Well, now we no, lost it. Just completely. muted it. <laughs> well, that that's one, that's one way of muting it. Yeah, that's right. What I was trying to say, Max, is how, what? How would that prevent gun violence in any way, though? You wouldn't. Just no. no just, just never any cure for that. Honestly, okay. I mean, just this say you have a cell phone and they steal that cell phone. Just no way of tracing that cell well, phone. I just so thought... it's the same like a rifle or whatever gun or whatever it is, or a car even. I, you know, I, I... just say steal Alex's car. Yeah. And I now drive across state lines to Ohio or somewhere else. There's no way of tracing it. I can just strip that car down, and within two hours, it's gone. Yeah, but there's it, no real 
There's you know, no real uh, way of stopping it, it. it. It's funny because this week we've heard nothing but one idea after another of how they're going to solve this problem, and none of it has to do with getting rid of guns or, or, yeah, or exactly. eliminating right. guns. There's no solution. I mean, I mean uh, education. The, the nitwit ideas that Trump came up with, to begin with, oh, you know, I'm going to, gonna I'm going to, I'm going to send an executive order making it illegal to sell bump stocks. Well, to begin with, a bump stock was only used in one of these shootings. It was used in the Vegas shooting. Bump stocks are not the problem, okay? Bump stocks are part of the problem, but they're not the problem. And uh, then he says, then we're going to arm the teachers. Uh, there's that's a the really, one that gets that's me. a really stupid idea. He's still saying that, like he was saying it again last night. Yeah, on, on the, the, news. the one thing that everybody is afraid to say, because I guess, you know, the NRA has like been blowing them all, is, is hey, we got to do something about the promiscuousness of the sales of guns, you know. Uh, we have to limit the way in which people buy them or use them or uh, whatever. You know? And make them traceable, like, uh, yeah. you know. He's, yeah. Right. Right. yeah. Well, the, the reality is that there it's been going on for so long. There's so many guns in the world right now. We know we can't get rid of them. We know we can't ban them because they're going to be around no matter what. It's a matter of controlling them somehow. Did you yeah. just see on the Long Island, a guy had a big Long Island, a guy had a big cache. It was on the news last night. A there, man in listen, Long I'm, I'm sure, had an I'm sure that in this country there are people. I, who did I talk to, who said he owns about fifty guns? Yeah, mm -hmm. there's people with them, and there's people that are perfectly normal that have never had a problem, that have stacks and stacks and stacks of them that we'd never hear of, and we'll probably never hear of them again. But there's also the nutcases that get a hold of them that go whack. Yeah, but we got to we got to figure out a way you, to get a hold to, of the you know the people that are going to get a hold of these things that are whack. But when when, when was it yesterday? This uh, this Lapierre moron, uh, the head of the NRA, again was that guy's giving just one, as crazy as Trump is. Well, one of his right, was giving one, uh, again one of his. I'll get to you in a second, Max. Gave one of his preachments once again of well, you know. Uh, only the, if, if you ban guns, only the uh, bad guys will have guns. The best thing uh, to to help when there's a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. Right, well, right. I got an, I got news that. for you. Until that no. guy shot up a mall, okay, he was a good guy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it only takes it depend it, it, when he suddenly becomes a shooter, he's then a bad guy. So don't right. tell me you need one good guy because that one good guy with a good tumor in his head could suddenly turn around and say, I'm going to shoot up the mall. Yes, Max. No, the, the gentleman with the hat is a very good point. There is no control. Right now, okay, I, as an experiment, I thought I was talking to my father, and he's one of these people who are one of those people who collects, okay, nice guy, whatever. I love him, obviously. There's a, and we talked about it. What would be one possibility to bring back M16 becomes the M4, mm -hmm. which becomes the AR-15. Yeah. And we were trained to use the M16 during my Army days. Yeah. So here's how you do it. You break it up in three parts, in three separate trips, and you, that charging part, the charging handle, mm -hmm. you, never bring, you never bring that in part. You make that the fourth trip by itself. So in theory, you could easily bring back a fully automatic rifle assault, whatever you want to call it, with no questions asked uh, from Nevada border, from Nevada to California, not yeah. any question. Look who's that's what my look. son was telling yeah. me yesterday. Yeah. It's exactly what he told me. He said that's why yeah. it's useless to try to do anything about yeah. it. By the way, by the way we've, we've been joined by a good guy with a gun. Mm -hmm. uh, Many guns. Uh, <laughs> Phil Meyer. Yeah, you didn't check your uh, Facebook Messenger. I, an hour and a half to get here uh, to Walnut Creek from uh, t uh, uh, San, uh, San Anselmo, not even San Anselmo, Green Break. Really? Why? Whoa. Was Green there County. an hour and a half? Well, hey, in the Bay Area. It's Friday yeah. night. Uh, yeah, it's what, no, yeah, well, what, what, what was what was the, uh, it was just, it was Trash just traffic. Traffic. It's Friday uh, night traffic. Yeah, yeah it's Friday's the worst. Messages. One said, Driving. <laughs> the other oh well, I uh, you know once I'm on the air, I don't go over and look at Facebook. Oh, you don't you don't wear your watch anymore? I, I wear my watch, but I didn't get any messages on the watch. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe I maybe you have it, to reset it. It could have been I turned off Facebook on my on my watch. Well, yeah, you know, it's it's probably a good thing. I have a do not disturb on my phone and everything. So yeah, during yeah. these hours. A anyway, we were. I was bringing up the fact Simplistic. that I I, I I think that we should all uh, ask the uh, in, the uh, credit card companies to not give credit cards to gun uh, stores. Can, can I can I ask you one thing? Yeah. You know how you dislike advertisers uh, that uh, try to force uh, their uh, their message or or people who try to not let you advertise with uh, use an advertiser because they don't like. Uh, who they are or what their message is. Isn't this the same thing? No, this is not This is not boycotting. What we're asking is that in good conscience, if they want to save lives, that the credit card companies, in good faith, just not give their services. And they this can, like and believe me, if I, if I want to go get, uh, uh, you know, like MasterCard or one credit card or another, uh, I sometimes m might not be able to get it because they decide I have the kind of business I have. If I have, if I have a porno site, they don't want my business. Okay. Well, if you okay. have a cannabis site, they don't want it. If, 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 you if, got if, a house yeah, house yeah. So, so they deny these services from people who are far less dangerous to America. Yeah, they made it. They were made it really difficult for the pot people in in northern in California to get started and to get this business up and running. Why can't we make it just as difficult for the gun manufacturers to keep their, the NRA and the gun manufacturers to keep yeah. their shit? Together? Hold on a second, Jason. Are you there? Somehow Jason's having trouble getting in here. Let me see if I can. Uh, well, when, he, when he gets there, there then you have here, ten. Here comes Jerry Montz. There we go. Uh, hello, Jerry. This is uh, the gentleman who was on last week with us who lives in Florida. Uh, turn your camera sideways, would you? Uh, because, Jerry? Oh, he's about 10 minutes away, right? Yeah, he, he lives about 10 minutes away from the school that was... Is this a royal flush? Uh, I think so. But we have a lot of noise out there. Jerry's yeah. outside. Yes. yes, I am. But I'm actually glad that Phil just called. Uh, yes. Because I want to hear him talk about how wonderful guns are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm doing a live remote. I was going to say, you look like you're down the street there, are you? Where are, yeah. where are you? I've got to figure out how to turn the camera around. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of dark. Where Where yes, are you? Is. is that the school? Is that the school? I'm right outside wow. the school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's Phil, the name of it again? Marjorie Stoneman Douglas. Ma it's Marjorie Stoneman, Stoneman Douglas School. Nobody even asks uh, what Marjorie Stoneman Douglas means. Yeah. And who was that? She it was, was uh, journalist she was a that uh, wrote about the Everglades. She kind of saved the Everglades. Yeah. Right. She, she was a huge proponent for it, the Everglades, yeah. and she kept them going. Frame the school a little better in the uh, in the picture there well, so we can see it. There we go. I'm out on the street. Yeah, so well, that's okay. This is this is the fence. Yeah. Don't get hit. So no, no, no. There, yeah, that's probably this. still cordoned off. What, is it? Right? what are we looking at there? You're looking at a fence oh. with balloons and flowers and yeah, it's not. Yeah. There's not a lot of light there, so it's kind no, of hard to see. No, there's not a lot. Here's a. I'm coming up to a spot that's got a little bit more light, maybe. Yeah. They probably don't want you in there, though, right? No. No, 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 no. I'm not inside. I'm outside. I'm not the only one here. Yeah. Oh. Okay. There are a lot of people there who probably came by to memorialize the place. Yeah. Well, and... there's people are, outside. Are you, uh, Jerry. There's still a lot of cops. Jerry, here. Phil yeah. wants to ask you a question. Go ahead, yeah. Phil. Are you uh, uh, pleased or or in the direction that the state of Florida is going as far as uh, eliminating, uh, making a 21-year-old uh, thing, uh, increasing the background checks, no bump stocks, and a couple of other things? Uh, oh, one cop per thousand students. I like that. The uh, yeah, yeah, hardening the thing. You know, when you go into a, a, a certain banks, when you go into uh, certain buildings and offices and courts, uh, they check you. Why not a school? Right. Well, so they if, don't if want I'm, the kids to feel like they're in prison. Well, that's yeah. why they want the concealed carry thing for the 20 percent of the teachers, because then they won't that's, see it. That's a bunch of Yeah, one officer per 
thousand students, I don't think is going well, to. Well, he just said his... to you. He just said to you a moment ago, yeah. Phil, that he agrees with that, yeah. but he I, disagrees I, with the. Yeah, it was another comment though, which is he didn't want it to seem like a prison, and uh, and yes. you know, I was they, right now. Uh, Stoneman has thirty five hundred students, so I guess that would be three and a half uh, police officers. <laughs> well, what I would like to see is complete banning of semi-automatic weapons, a deadline where it'll be illegal to own it, possess it, possess it or sell it, and if you don't turn it in by a certain day, first-degree felony. Well, just like, I, the, just uh, like the Sullivan Law. Yeah, well, yeah. I don't, I didn't like the Sullivan Law, and I don't like that, but uh, everybody's entitled to their opinion, and yes, it's a, I know. one vote, I just, one hand. I just figured I'd show you, you know, the... Yeah. The uh, the results of one guy. Let me let me. I'm going to make your picture full screen here so people can see it. Yeah, that. Mm, that I that can't shows, see out. Well, I know you can't, but they can. Uh, the Lord, up. Oh, we just lost Jerry. We just lost him. Oh boy. Alex, are the Mets wearing the uh, hats from that school or something? There were some Mets that were from that spring high training. School. Yeah. Spring, spring, spring training. I saw that on the news. Yeah. Yeah, we have. Uh, we, hey, can I? we we had a uh, we had what a royal flush at that point. Yeah, so I hope Jerry I calls like back. Say, you know what? If you're going to do these band aid solutions, let's make sure the taxpayers aren't responsible for this funding. So when Phil says that there's security guards at banks, they are paid for by the banks. Now, when you say you want to put a security card in a school, that means you want us to pay for it. Well, guess what? If you want a security guard in that school, there should be three guards per place, and the and the NRA should be billed for oh, every well, single it, Forget about for the, the NRA. Why don't we just uh, add a tax to the sale of no, every what? every gun what? that is sold? What? what? That's, That's a good idea, gun. Alex. Like Great smoking. Idea. Huh? Sure. Okay. Put a tax on the weapons to pay for it, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think so, the state of Florida is paying for it. No, no state has to pay. Wait a minute. For here come here. This come, is the here, problem here because we've Jerry. had that same problem trying to get SROs in our town, and right. we can barely get one and two to go around got, all the schools in our district. Yeah. Wait a minute. Here's Jerry again. Jerry's yeah, back. I got cut off. Yeah. You know, it's hard to do this on an iPhone. I, I mean, no. True that, and we applaud your effort. By the way, you know something Thank is. Uh, um, uh, gee, I don't know. Uh, are you there, Jason? See, Jason isn't there, and I I can't get a good pick. Get rid of him. Uh, Does it have something to do with his wife's account or something? Uh, I don't know. I'll remove him from the group though, so that right, I can. Ten. The, and he was out of town, the, and he called in on some other thing. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to I'm trying to get this so we can. You know, we can't, we can't, we can't actually take another person, but we do have Jerry, and let me make him full screen again. You have a royal flush. So here's uh, 17 crosses. Yeah, look at that. Oh. See if you can I, see that, folks. It's it's a bit dark, crosses. but but uh, wow. They talked about that on NRA on the, um, National Public Radio. Oh. Yeah. Oh so boy. They, you know, they, they talked about. They want to destroy part of the school that a lot of this stuff happened in, right? Tear it down. Yeah, they want to, as a matter of fact, this is the building right here. I don't know if I can zoom in on that. Oh, uh, where it all happened? Yeah, yeah we that can building see right it. behind that light post. Yeah, yeah we see it fine. We, we can see it okay. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. I'll uh, see it. Well, things still aren't back to normal there, but probably. No, the, t the teachers went back today um, to try and know comfort each other i guess and this is got this is going to be students a, to going back sunday yeah for uh just to see each other and they're hoping to start school like wednesday by the way if some of you are listening to us on audio on uh, on uh, gabnet.net uh we do have a picture there at gabnet.net so that you can you can see uh, the um uh, the video that we're that we're putting up there so that uh you know uh, you know what alex you're right i like the fact that not all nra members or not all gun owners are nra members so if we tax the guns to pay for the security guards and the metal detectors mm -hmm. i'm all for that but the that's problem a great is, idea 
How about taxing the bolts? Uh, right. Right. You know, you, you know, Can I just say something about semi-automatic weapons? Because I, I think people, I don't know if everyone understands, but there are a lot of semi-automatic weapons that are, uh, you can get a shotgun that's a semi-automatic weapon. Uh, there are all kinds of hunting rifles that are semi-automatic. Yeah, but um, so to say semi-automatic, I'm just saying, I just want to make sure that people understand it's not just these guns of war that are semi-automatic. There are all kinds of semi-automatic weapons. Right, right. Yeah, and I, so I don't know what your what people mean when they say semi-automatic weapons. It's where uh, you just pull a trigger for each shot. You know? Yeah, right. Like an AK. Well, uh, 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 right. So do you so do you mean like even like shotguns for hunting that are semi-automatic should be illegal too? I'm just I'm just trying to understand what people are saying here. Uh, well, I mean, I look it, for, it, my way of thinking, and of course this drives Phil crazy. Is I would like to see all guns, banned, guns banned. Guns. Period. Yeah, me too. Me too. You know, I, it doesn't mean that people aren't going to have them. Doesn't mean that people aren't going to use them for bad purposes. But it's just going to be a little harder for them to lay their hands on them. Got a gun. You know? Pay attention. We have such a gun-centric society now. You know, it's kind of like when I was a kid and I and I used some toy and somehow maybe I burned something or whatever, and my parents said, "Okay, you can't play with that toy ever again," or you, you know. You're you're on de you're on detention from that toy. Well, I think that maybe the, too much irresponsible use of these toys. Okay. Right. Uh, they don't feel they're being irresponsible. They just feel that this is one freak guy, and that they should be able to keep all the guns they want, yeah. and they should be able to not register them, so that the government okay. has no idea who they are and how many guns they've got. Bob Eberth has his hand up. Bob. Yeah, in the past week, one school teacher left her gun in the bathroom, and the students found it. And it was either today or yesterday in Utah, where I used to live, yes. a teacher shot herself in the leg in the school. And Did Trump you, wants them all to have guns. That's Did right. Did you hear about the guy who was cleaning his gun at school? Because he, was, he was a teacher, and he was cleaning his gun at school. It, it accidentally discharged and it ricocheted into the hallway. You don't clean a loaded gun. I bear in, bear in mind. It's fire, and he, and he gave a bullshit ex, uh, excuse that he was cleaning it. Uh, the only way the gun goes off is if you pull the trigger. And if the gun has bullets in it, that's the first thing you check to make sure that it's empty before you go to clean it. So, obviously... This guy, that's a bullshit okay, thing. Okay, Phil, Phil. Let's okay, first of all, let's first These of all, let's, wait a minute. People, Trump wants to defend our kids. Exactly. I, I can't raise my hand to, uh, to ask my Wait, wait hold on a second. Let Jerry say something. Yes, Jerry? Yeah, I can't raise my hand to ask for my turn, so I'm just going to interject. Yeah. The guy, the guy that was a resource cop here, oh. I believe he was a cop for 35 years. 33, right. 33 trained for this his entire career and he he couldn't do it we don't know why right right we don't know why that's Hold the new thing today right i heard on uh the radio not the radio on the news tonight that three of the uh deputies from broward county showed up yeah. and they didn't go in either right, right. They didn't by the way if, if you're listening to us right now somewhere if you can get to a youtube we actually have pictures coming directly from jerry mons from the school in fact i will show it again what are those flashing lights uh that jerry? is the main entrance of the school mm -hmm. where there's a gate and this is the single point of entry during the day mm -hmm. so that's mm. where the guy came in no. Okay. no. What happened was, 20 minutes before dismissal time, mm -hmm. they opened up all the other gates for uh, 3,300 kids to leave school. Mm. And that's how he got in. Oh, and he okay. pulled the fire alarm or something. Yeah. Once he, he went in so through one of the gates and everybody. went to that building and that, that was it. Now, ha and, I, 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 what, ha what happens when they go to school? They're going back on Monday, right? Uh, have, Theoretically, have have they have they cleaned up the school? Have they done something mm. to? Well, that building is closed. They're not letting anybody into that building. Okay. Not e not even the teachers. I believe they're bringing out all their personal belongings. Wow. Now, right next to me, I hope this guy doesn't get pissed, but there's a Broward County cop, Broward County sheriff officer sitting right there. Mm. Yeah. 
Yeah. So yeah. if you were a cop for 30 some odd years, wouldn't you know what a semi-automatic gun sounds like? He, when it's he knew what was going on. Maybe that's why he didn't run in. I, I couldn't answer that. He might have yeah, crapped well, his pants. He's in big trouble now. The sheriff uh, of the county, uh, Israel, he said that the cops on the campuses are trained that go in immediately uh, upon uh, determining that there's gunfire. Mm -hmm. Although, well, as a cop, that, I was trained to set up a perimeter. And, they don't do. They don't do it that way anymore. Yeah. No, uh, they go uh, right in. They yeah, go right in. Well, my training is 15 years old, but yeah. The the thing was, uh, yeah, we were always trained. You set up a perimeter, and then you send in SWAT. Uh, he was a SWAT, they said. This guy, no, right? he wasn't. He was no. a, uh, no. a school resource school. officer. Oh. So I, I'm, um, I have to say, so if I heard these shots, and I'm a veteran of, uh, of the police force, and I know what gun I've got, mm -hmm. I might rethink that going in there. And then the other part, if he's only for fifteen dollars an hour for the rest for to to just throw himself in front of a bullet. No, no, no. He's not a security no, no. guard. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. He's, yeah. he's, he's a not a security guard. He was a seventy-five thousand dollars a year deputy. Yeah, he's a cop. What? Yeah, he's he a job, though, right? Yeah, he was a cop. Well, he resigned he and retired. He resigned and retired. Now he's on his pension, which I hope they don't give him. Well, they, well, well, they, they, they suspended him and then he resigned. Yeah. Exactly. Really he resigned and retired. Guy. He's a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a sheriff. And it, uh, not only that, but his home is being guarded right now. He should be ashamed to call. Oh, they're afraid something will happen to him, right? Uh, 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 Max, let me ask you this question. You're over there in Germany, okay? Uh -huh. So we, we, we talked the other night about the fact that the further you get away from the perimeter of this thing, it, the different way it looks to people. Like, for instance, to Jerry, who lives literally five minutes away from this school that we're seeing pictures of now i'm heading my i'm heading back to my car by the way right uh he um um he's right in the perimeter he's right in the middle of it he's in the epicenter you are on the outer perimeter of this story how is it being taken in your neighborhood in germany they're laughing at us period yeah. And they're bringing up Australia and the incident that happened in '95 or '96. Yeah, they're just saying U.S. is going to the crapper. I don't know how much we can say. I'm not sure you can curse here. Yeah. Um, but they're just they're just laughing at us, just saying Americans are stupid. They're just flat saying it now. Yeah. But you know, I look at it and say, you know, the terrorists don't even have to come in here because we're doing our, we're, we're doing, doing it all ourselves. ourselves. Yeah. That's right. Uh, Ray, you had your yeah, I just. Yeah, so um, I, I saw a CNN poll, and even though most of us want to get rid of guns or mostly get rid of guns, most most of the people in this country feel like Phil. I was reading it today, um, so that's why nothing will that won't happen. Uh, Phil Phil represents the majority. His his feelings about this, mm -hmm. and, you know, um, and, and that's the issue. It's but unfortunate. I, but see, but well, see there's a problem with using Phil as an example. He was a cop. He's been trained. No, no, that's not my point. That's not my okay. point. My point is is that mo most people in this country want the, the Second Amendment upheld, yeah. and they don't want it meddled with. And they the want right to be able arms. to keep their the right to bear arms. And I, I saw the poll today. It looked like a real poll, and there was a majority of people that don't want that to go away. And even no, though in Germany they think we're crazy, most people yeah. in this country don't want to lose their guns. Phil, what are you doing there with another uh, computer? Oh, I was uh, I was trying to fix my uh, uh, my thing so I could do the royal flush fl uh, uh. thing. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're beyond a where. Oh, this is a royal flush. Yeah, this is eleven with me. Uh, no, yeah. yeah, with me it's an eleven. So uh, yes, I Max operated. I operated oh. from the pad. Yeah, but it's uh, it's on that. Computer. I can't tell you how happy we are. It's not working. Uh, <laughs> I got a question. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, Max has his hand up. Um, this one German put it put it best actually. Until it hits, until this per and, and, and this was this is very sad to say. So please don't take anyone don't take it personally. Yeah. But a German person said it best. Yeah. Uh, until it affects 
uh, someone in a higher echelon personally, yeah. no changes will be made to the rules. Right. So, so I mean, for us lower citizens, we're nothing in comparison to the Congress or whoever else is up there. So, what about the I mean, Congress, quite, the congressman that was shot? At a at practice some, baseball game. Yeah, yeah they right. were all Republicans well, and they didn't do anything. Or Gabby yeah, Gifford, that one lady. Right. I forgot. Yeah. Gabby Gifford. Yeah, Gabby Democrat. Gifford. So okay. it's not just yeah, people. right. Yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, it's actual uh, political people are being shot at by nutcases now, too. So, so it's like, I got a question for Matt. <clears throat> what kind of gun control go is, is over in Germany? Um, unless you're in a, unless you're in a, a by Dresden border area or in a forest area for hunting, no handguns, only long rifles, and only in the in the forest area. Uh, what How are do they you buy them? Clubs. Hmm? How do you buy them? What are they oh, allow in nightclubs? <laughs> um, how do you buy them? I don't know actually. I've never questioned that. They've never asked. I mean, oh, uh, Germany, what, 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 just I mean, for example, your, uh, anything past okay, inches here, anything past four or six inches in knives is illegal here in Germany. So my knives, a K bar knife that I have in the United States, the Marine K bar knife, I can never bring it to Germany ever because it's just illegal here. Because okay. I'll I'll be questioned immediately by the police and then outside on the board, immigration people. Why do you have it? Why do you need it? When I know. Was the last shooting. When was the last mass shooting you had? They don't I have shooting. I think there have. has been one. They, they, no, they, we had the no, We had that one truck, but it wasn't a shooting. It was a truck that would hit Berlin. Yeah, uh, what, in, in the what about all interesting? Church. Interesting. Hey, what about all those nightclubs that got bombed in Germany? Bombs, that, not guns. Oh. Guns. Well, no, he, he's right though. We're doing. It. We're talking about bombs, and we're also talking about. Basically, ISIS inspired. Here, we're talking. We don't need ISIS here. The mass extermination of people is being yeah. taken place, uh, ta being guys, done by Americans. Why these guys right. are Nazi sympathizers? You know, the uh, the white supremacists that uh, that uh, that they have in Germany. Well, Phil, and, he was a Trump supporter. This kid, he had the hat on. And doesn't matter. Else. So he was a he was a, an idiot. You know, there was lots of Trump supporters that uh, uh, try to. Uh, you know, glorify uh, the, uh, uh, the the civil war and slavery, and uh, you know, just because they were Trump supporters, uh, it didn't mean that they were sane. You know, there, there's about, there's, what about what about? Yeah, it's what aboutism. It's what aboutism, well, hey, Phil. Oh, yeah, Phil, yeah. Phil, everything Let's is what about me. this? What about that? It doesn't. It deflects from the main uh, target uh, of this discussion. Of what about Mr. Bennett? You're one of the boutest whataboutters that I've ever seen. Well, you're whatabouting more than I'm whatabouting, okay? <laughs> yes, uh, Bobby Ebert. Uh, I'm not sure which state it was. I'm thinking Ebert. Oregon just passed the first gun legislation since the shooting. And in that state now, you cannot buy a weapon if you have a restraining order on you, if you have been a stalker. Yeah. If you have mental issues, they 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 just closed the whole thing, and it was uh, bipartisan, Republican and Democrat. By the uh, by the way, by the way, uh, our our good friend here, uh, who's been nice enough to give us his tour, Jerry Mons. Uh, uh, how far are you from home now, Jerry? I'll be home in about five minutes. In about five minutes. He's driving. Yeah, so he's driving from the school, so you can get some kind of idea of where he lives. Then we'll all go over to his house and rob it. Uh, my, my wife is watching at home, so uh, honey, put up some coffee. <laughs> I hope the speed limit's not 35 because you're going to get a no, ticket. No, it's 40. Oh, okay. It's 40 over here. Yeah. What's happening to the shooter? <laughs> what what's your wife saying? Can you say hi to her? Uh, uh, do, you, do you think uh, your governor, uh, Jerry, uh, has proposed some things? Do you think all those things are good? I think it's a good it's a good start. Yeah. Uh, I, you, I think the age should probably be twenty five. Why should it be twenty one? Well, oh, they made it twenty one. You know, it'll never happen. I, I don't. I've never understood age limits for this reason. Like they used to say, you can't drink till you're twenty one. What? All of a sudden, when I hit twenty one, it's good for me. 
you know. It's not that. It's just that uh, we talked about this the other night. Uh, there, we don't think there's been any school shooters under the age of 25. Ooh, Hold on. Really? What about the college? Under the age of 25? Uh, no, no, no. Did you Columbine, say did, that was? He was like 20, 2019 uh, or something. This guy like was that. 19. This guy was yeah. 19, yeah. Phil. Yeah. Over yeah. the age. Over oh, the age. Over the age of 25. Uh, I'm okay. sorry. Were, well, because, yeah. because okay, Jeff, other, Jeff, wait a minute. Jeff's got his, hold 25. on a second. I've really got a traffic. I got to be a traffic cop here, Jeff. All right. The other day you asked me, was the student in Connecticut twenty one or twenty? I checked it up. He was twenty years old. Yeah. All right. The, so, the so reason the reason why point. school shooters are young is because this is the place they know uh, and they relate to, Phil. They, you know, it's like a 25-year-old isn't even going to know where the front door right. is. So one you way know. of reducing these school shooting instance, instances is to, is okay. to not allow All someone right. under then, the age of Then how do we stop? How do we stop a Las Vegas? Well, then that how do we stop a how do we stop a uh, uh, the the gay nightclub shooting down in Florida? How do we stop that? That uh, that wasn't All I'm a, talking about is the school shooters seem to have a age under twenty five. No, but you, I'm trying to say to you, of course they would be under twenty five because they're picking a place they are familiar with. I'm By the time you're twenty five, you, as I say, you don't even know where the front door to that school the guy, is. The anymore. Orlando guy was a terrorist. He thought American he was born. American-born. American-born. He may have been American-born, but he was associated with ISIS. And he, and, no, he and, wasn't. He wasn't. Mom, so he was not associated with ISIS, Phil. He was inspired by ISIS. He read. He read. He read, uh, he read all the stuff online, just like people watch uh, Info Worlds. Well, Wars. and that inspired him to do what he did. Yeah. But he, he yes, Jeff, uh, Jeff, Jeff's, Jeff's got his hand up. Jeff? When I remember there used to be a thing called a, a Tommy gun. Mm -hmm. And it was became it was all taken off the market, so to speak. Yeah, oh, yeah. And because they were very dangerous things, and there were lots and lots of people who were getting killed because of those things, so they were taken off, never put on the market again. Because they were fully automatic. It doesn't matter. It's because and they were killing they people. Round uh, the circular magazines. You you you're just uh, getting all kinds of details that don't mean shit. The whole thing is about guys, people getting Jeff, killed. Jeff, guys like you and Alex, uh, it wouldn't matter how many laws the NRA or 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 they enacted for the schools. You wouldn't be satisfied with anything short of the total ban of guns. That's right. So I didn't say that. No, but that's what I didn't you, say. No, that. I, but I will say I that. Said, I know Alex said that, but I didn't say that. Well, All but, I said was that that you gotta maybe select which one is. I'm I, I'm look look. Gun. I am for a law. I am for a law that will work. And I'll tell I, you what. I, I, I'll tell you. Can I tell you what law worked? The one in yeah, Australia. The one in Australia. Uh -huh. I don't think that's right. I think that we have an inalienable right. By, based on the Constitution and the Bill of Rights, to own and and bear arms. Uh, would you agree, would you agree Would you agree that the uh, Constitution of the United States is somewhat of an archaic uh, tool? No. Because no, I think it's a brilliant document. Uh, uh, oh, I don't think it was that brilliant. Because the reason for that part of the Constitution, its Second Amendment today, if the people who framed the Constitution were alive today. They would not want the Second what Amendment. What it does is it keeps people like you from taking away all the other rights, which you will look for next. Yeah. Did anybody watch the uh, CPAC, uh, CPAC thing today? Yeah, I did. Yeah. And Wayne LaPierre is up there shouting that they're going to take his Second Amendment away. Well, he, he wasn't at the CPAC thing. Yes, yes he, he was. was. I and watched the whole I he, watched the no, whole no, no. He, was he was there, Phil. So was Dana Loesch. Well, it, it wasn't. It wasn't uh, anything that Trump said. I mean, I, Trump. No, no, no. no, no we're Wayne not saying Lapierre Trump. said they're going to take away our Second Amendment. Which, does Trump? anybody know what's involved in, like in see that happen? Do you Alex? know what's Isn't involved in taking away the Second Amendment? Taking an amendment out of the Constitution? Is it two thirds? Uh, two thirds. Yeah, it, it takes two thirds. It's, it's a lot. Two thirds of both houses, and then it has yeah. to be ratified by three quarters of the states. 
Right. Yeah. Hang on a second. We don't have to get rid of the Second Amendment. And we've done it once. No, you're just trying to cripple it. No. Oh, Jesus. Okay, that's you. Yeah, that, 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 get rid of it. You just want to. You you just want to. Uh, yes, it. I want. Yes, I want to cripple it. You're goddamn Bill, right. I want to cripple Bill, it because the Second Amendment is crippling people. Okay. Bill, even the Supreme Court, Anton Scalia said yeah, that the Second Amendment does not mean that we can't put reasonable restrictions on firearms. Well, I yeah. agree, but I think that you that most people want to restrict these weapons because they don't like the way it looks. Alex said yesterday that, uh, listen, Alex said yesterday that you know when people say hey that looks like a beautiful gun uh, and he compared it to a hammer. Uh, you know when I look at a gun, I see the craftsmanship, I see oh. the machining, oh, I see the beauty. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. Of that. It's just It's beautiful. a work of art. It's a work Some of, of art. Parts. It should be hanging in a museum somewhere. <laughs> Some of the parts. You know, and uh, how many have ever had a, a Glock in their hand? A Glock? It's a piece yeah. of plastic. It's a, a piece mold. Of it's, a plastic. it's a gun that everybody, for some reason, wants to have, and it's ugly and it's blocky. And there's you know why? Because there's no safety on it, and they don't have to worry about no, not being able to. It's got. It's, Stop acting like these things are uh, some artwork. Unless you, they're handmade, they're you not. You know why I like it? Because you could put 20,000 rounds through it without cleaning it and still not get a jam. Wow, that's a great gun. Oh, that's great. You know, that's, that's wonderful. All we need. Wait, uh, tell me, tell me what a gun, you know, I, again, what is the, uh, what is the only real use that a gun, gun was created for? Well, obviously. It's oh, guess guess who's home? Guess who's home? He just walked in. We can see him. I'm, I'm home, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you know what? I'm going to hang up. Okay, Jerry. Thank you so much for that thank tour. You're welcome. You know, you, you, you showed and, uh, what what this. Bill, I hope you learned something. But I'm sure you didn't. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry you're so self-righteous. Oh, well, I'm not being self-righteous. Yeah, you're, well, you you're think, the minority here. You don't think I learned? Um, of course, I'm in the minority. That's why I get on here. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. Are you an actor? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, my name is Jerry. <laughs> yeah, okay. Good night, everybody. Hey, good night. Thank you, good Jerry. Night. I really appreciate it. Bye. Uh, that, that, that really, what Jerry did was show us how, how you can use the Citizens Panel, that we actually were at that school live here on the show. Uh, and I hope a lot of you saw that. And, uh, uh, you know, I really thank Jerry for doing it. Um, anyway, I'm trying to trying to get rid of the picture here. but See, Ray? Uh, he thought I was the actor. I saw. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, maybe, yes. Max. Maybe you need to get an agent. <laughs> Max has his hand up. Max. Someone else said it, but in this case, Phil. No matter what we say, you, the people, the majority of the country, United States, agrees with you, yeah. and the laws will not be changed at this time until. Oh, hey, there I, has I, to be something. I, there has to be a, a shift or a major I, shift in the paradigm. I, I, Max, I'm all for changing the law if that's what the majority of Americans want. I, I'm a law-abiding guy. I do what's the le what the law says to do. And if the law says no guns, then I'm not going to have any. But right now, the law is the law. And I'm following the law, and I'm not doing anything wrong. Well, you know, I, 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 uh, oh, yes, Vernon. Vernon's been very quiet tonight. Phil, so. Phil you, you yeah. say if the majority of Americans want to do this. The problem we have is the majority of Americans are not represented in our Congress. The House yeah. of Representatives <clears throat> loses the popular vote every two years, and yet they are still in control. How that, is that? That Hey, that's another problem you can solve. If the majority of Americans uh, uh, have an issue with this one man, one vote, now that was what happened during the presidential election, but I didn't think that, uh, I, I know there's gerrymandering going on, and, uh, you know, I think that there should be a fair representation of the people for the districts, and I'm not for cheating. Uh, you know, uh, if, I, if I win something, I want to win in an honest competition. I don't want something given to me uh, uh, yeah, without. but that's not how you guys won. You guys, you didn't win honestly. You won that by cheating. Doesn't matter. The law right now has it this way. I'm willing to accept that. If the law changes, I'm willing to accept that. 
you, you know, you know, it just it just is. I can't you can't fight City Hall. So if you don't like it, change the law or or now in uh, in one state uh, back east. I understand they, the court made them redistrict uh, Pennsylvania. The, is it Pennsylvania? Uh-huh. So yeah. that, may make a, that may make a big difference, and we'll see in the 18 election, and we'll see in the 20 election uh, what what happens because of this redistricting. You know, it's just like everybody on this panel thinks that guns is the are the issue. Uh, I'm the lone uh, one, but I'm I'm in a den yeah. of uh, iniquity here. By the uh, way, by the <laughs> way, speaking of a den, uh, Renee, turn on a light. Hey, well, a light, talking, we, light. We can't even see you. We can't even see you if you turn on your light somewhere. We'll be able to see you. I see you. Uh, yes, uh, Tim has joined us. Yes, Tim. Oh, I, you know what that you're talking. You're talking about gerrymandering. Yeah. Uh, you know. Excuse me. He has to play his royal flush sound effect. Yes. Go ahead, uh, Tim. I, I, I was listening to uh, uh, Governor Cuomo two nights ago, and you know what else was gerrymandered? No. Those the tax cuts. They did tax cuts where the people that live in the Democratic air, blue areas get screwed. I guess it's tough it's, being you. And you know? uh, New York, California, Massachusetts, New Jersey. Yeah. And uh, if we could declare gerrymandering illegal through the judges, I think we could we could recall well, that we'll tax see. cut. We'll see what's happening in Pennsylvania. I'm all for an honest representation of the people. And if the majority of the people vote and it becomes uh, the, the law of the land, I will follow it. Well, that's very righteous of you and nice of you to say. Alex? Yeah, yes, yes, oh, Alex? Charlene. Oh, I've been thinking about this for like the last 30 minutes. Like this 21-year-old rule with the guns. Is that going to be like nationwide, or is it just one state? Nope. Uh, no, it's going to be Florida. Yeah, Florida. Florida. Oh, but I think several several other states, I think, are proposing to I do think something Trump about it. Trump has nationwide it. laws with gun control. No, the if states have to, too many different, you know, different laws. Yeah. If you That's listen, to, this, if you listen there to, needs the, to be a national wait, law. Wait, wait a minute. Correct. Hold on a second. Let Phil talk. If Let, you listen, I, to imagine this, I just said let Phil talk. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's rarity. Hey, if you if you listen to the CPAC speech of Trump today, uh, that's exactly what he called for on a nationwide basis. And uh, and he says he's going to work with the NRA to get it. And I don't think he's going to working give up with the NRA is Thank like you. it's the same Thank thing as asking the IRS to do your taxes for you. Well, I don't I'm not a member of the NRA. Uh, I was years ago before uh, they got taken over from a hunting and, and an education organization to a political lobby. But, uh, you know, I do recognize one thing, that there is an effort to, uh, to strip the Constitution of the Second Amendment, and that's all they're interested in is protecting... No, it's not. You're not listening to what those kids that's are not, saying. That's not they, true. Up, they won't give up anything. No, that's not what those hey, kids are saying. And you know why LaPierre said that? He said, you don't have to because it's a right. LaPierre it's a said it because LaPierre is an hey, asshole. Hey, well, LaPierre right is nothing but a scaremonger. Wait a minute. Hold, uh, yeah. I, did, I did have the right to carry a machine gun. Okay, okay. well, you know, even Scalia said, you know, the, the Second Amendment doesn't apply to basically anything. So you have weapons of mass destruction. Which is what these are. They're absolute killing machines. Well, yeah, not to be used I, for I only had it when I was on duty. Uh, well, here's what I mean. Right, but, wanna... but today's technology, these are just as more deadly than any Tommy gun that ever existed. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. The ter- uh, because the ter- of the velocity of the bullets, it, it's greatly enhanced from what I, a Tommy I, gun I, would I, be. I don't want to have a debate about bullet velocity, but I can tell you that the slower the velocity, the more knockdown power. Yeah, anyway. No, but we're uh, talking about pulverizing people's organs my show and and people, i can't even get my words most shootings eggs. like gangs and so on the people can survive with major did this problems, guy have the hollow points this shooter in Florida? i don't know if he had the hollow points no, the, but they two, said two, the three, organs three, were pulverized uh, that, the that people weapon, had no chance that weapon's not a, a, a hollow point uh, bullet it's a two two three 
Didn't but, they talk about rubber? Did, did they say rubber bullets? Oh, boy. This discussion of guns. You know, I mean, uh, we, you know, we've been discussing this. We've been discussing this for over a week now. And, of course, we're not coming up with any solutions because uh, nobody, uh, you know, uh, uh, I guess uh, I don't think uh, the, uh, the lawmakers are, are trying to be reasonable. They're all trying to come up with an answer that will, they're trying to keep everybody happy with their answers. And there is no way to keep everybody happy with an answer to this problem. I don't think no. they're going to do anything, Alex. I think they represent like the, constituents. I like it better when we talk about Michelle Obama's guns. Yeah, and they're trying to represent their material. Those, were the, those were the good old, is it sad that we're saying those were the good old days? <laughs> and not only, but what uh, Ray has pointed out is the constituents are actually in the majority that that don't want gun control, that don't want okay. these things. Okay, um, Max? That's not true. Yeah, Max. Uh, only on this panel, the majority wants it. Yeah, and, and I think you're stretching it a bit, Phil. It's not that the no, majority... 90, wait, 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 hey, 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 hey. hey. Let Vernon, let, let, let Vernon say what he has to say. I've it's got to be not the, that the majority wants to do away with the Second Amendment. It's that the majority thinks that you should be able to own a weapon if you're a reasonable person. Well, and that Second Amendment allows that. Whereas if you go to Australia, you could be a reasonable person and still not be able to what? own a weapon. Uh, well, let, let me ask That's you this more question. What about, Bill? That's more what about. What about Australia? Hey, what about it? <laughs> Oh, they don't have you know, a right to bear arms. arms. And I'm showing you that pe there are many reasons. They don't have a right to bear arms. They well, I'll tell, you, I'll tell you one thing. They maybe don't have the right to bear arms, but I'll tell you what happened. <laughs> Not a lot of people have been shot by guns since that. You know. Uh -huh. uh, hey, hey, Alex, I got a solution, Alex, to the, the simple by solution. Yeah, what's that, Tim? Let them, uh, remember the, the meat lockers that you used to have to store your meat in? Yeah. Because nobody had freezers. Right. Let's say if you can have those weapons of mass destruction, assault weapons, but you have to store them at the at the at the, uh, the shooting range, keep them under lock and key. You can only use them for target practice. You can't have it at home, and you can't you know drive around with them. Well, you know that that that, that is uh, that is what they do in a lot of countries. In places like England, for <laughs> instance, if you use a gun for hunting. You, be, you have to belong to a hunting club, yeah. and then you store your gun right. at the hunting club. You don't take it home with you. You, you, know, you, you take it, and you store it there, and then you go out, and you use it, and you do your hunting because there are deer out there and fowl and whatever, and then you come back and put your gun in their vault, and you go home. I, I, and I then see, you, reduce, you also reduce suicides and accidental deaths. As well. Yeah. Well, the accident, you know, we haven't even started to begin to talk about the accidental deaths as a result of guns. You know, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold, hold on a second. Hold on a second, Tim. Uh, Jeff just said, I'm familiar with that. How are you familiar with that, Jeff? My wife's uh, husband. Uh, I mean, my wife's. <laughs> Your wife's <laughs> husband is you. <laughs> you know him intimately. Well, okay, okay. No, no, no. Your wife's husband. My, uh, father. My, my wife's father. Yeah. <laughs> killed, killed himself. Oh, wow. Oh boy. You know, at these places where you, these shooting ranges where you can rent a pistol, that uh, right. they have more suicides in those places. Yeah, you know, and and those places you don't have to go through a background check to rent the pistol to walk over to the range and blow your head off. Well, somebody then people know how, what to do with that, how to do that, you know. Well, it's just that you know that the stopping ownership and, and stopping people from buying it isn't going to stop people from committing suicide. Uh, and they can no, do it. No, nobody said stop, Phil. We're just talking about a reduction in, in numbers. Yeah, well, not a it, stop, but a reduction. But what I these people. Go. Oh, what these Fine. people do is they commit suicide. <laughs> wait, wait, who's got to go? Wait, who's got to go? I, I have to go, Alex. Really? Is there a reason? I mean, you're not mad or anything. Yeah. I'm, no, 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 oh, no, no. Oh. I have to go because my, my wife made dinner. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, listen, yeah, yeah. Ray, you've been terrific. And please don't stop calling. We love you on this show. Oh, no, I'll, I'll be back. Okay. I just want to eat with my hey, say, wife. Son. Let's say but goodbye to Ray Renati. Goodbye, Ray. Say hello to your uh, wife's husband. <laughs> Sorry he's here. That. He's here. Yeah, we have one of those kind of relationships. Okay. I'm in San Francisco. Great, right. Ray. Good easy. talking to you. Right. Okay. Um, yeah, I just want to make sure he wasn't leaving because he was disturbed by anything. Oh no, he, he seems pretty cool-headed. He, right. he is cool-headed, but he, you know, he's passionate, and uh, yes. he, mm -hmm. he, you know, it's really good. 
we still have a we still have a full house you know uh, 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 you know uh, the, uh, it's amazing that we that we have this discussion. We have this discussion because of, I think, a misbegotten. See, here, let me ask you this, and I'll ask this of, of Phil. He can maybe answer this better than anybody with some kind of answer for me. It says, in or, order to maintain a well-ordered militia, blah, 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 which I think is a is a provision saying how you can have the guns, but, a lot, you know, the, the NRA doesn't agree with me, uh, and neither does Phil. But it does say and well ordered means you're going to be yeah. regulated, right? You're going to be regulated. Yeah, but That's the other part about. of it is the right to bear arms shall not be infringed. Now, please, will somebody define the word arms? That could mean to me anything from a pistol to an atom bomb. Yeah, right. but you know we have we have uh, some you know people that are regulating those things. We don't need atom bombs as individuals. We don't need bazookas. No, but we that's don't... not what I asked. That's not what I asked. What Define for me a uh, uh, an arm. What is an arm? I mean, well, it, because I, it could I, be used. If, if, I, if I'm a country, I could consider my nuclear arsenal my arms. Am I right or wrong on that? If you're a country. But as an individual in this country, well, now you're defining this. You're, you, no, but, but you know, look, then let's define question. let's define arms as it pertains I, I to the Constitution. Anything, I think anything from a semi-automatic, uh, 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 you know, uh, AR-15 type weapon, all the way down to a two-shot. Mm -hmm. uh, so now Garinger. you're defining it, but I'm defining it as an atom bomb on down. Well, that it could is be, not, it could be ricin. It shouldn't, and it shouldn't yeah. be. Yeah. I don't want individuals to be in, in possession oh, of atom bombs. Oh, really? Why, why don't I have a right to have an atom bomb? You don't have a right you to. You know, I, all I need to do is find some fissionable material, but I can't get anybody to sell it to me. Yes, uh, our friend in Germany has his hand up. Max? Amazon. Actually, a question more for Phil. Yeah. Being a veteran, I technically have qualification in M203, the A... Um, the M60, the M16A1, A2, became Mark IV, and the A4 rocket launcher. Mm -hmm. So technically, does that mean I should be able to have the A4 rocket launcher in my house in yeah. California? Because when yeah, I was a cop, wait a minute, Max, when I was a cop, I, I had a fully automatic weapon, okay? Uh, and uh, I had it available to me when I worked the boat, as well as uh, in, in a car. Now, now that I'm no longer a cop, even though I was qualified to shoot it, now that I'm no longer a cop, I'm not qualified to own it or to uh, – I can shoot it if somebody I know has one. But the bottom line is, no, I'm not uh, – even though I was qualified, I am uh, and no longer in a position where it's necessary for me to have one. Why not? Yeah, hmm? why not? Why not? Uh, I, I was uh, entrusted with a public trust – and I was and I was performing a job, and this was a tool of the job. Well, it's uh, your Second Amendment right. No, it's not. It's illegal in the state of California to possess a fully automatic weapon unless you have a destructive devices uh, permit. And that takes a tremendous – got to have a real reason for that. And Is that so, because of California 101? Uh, and no, I think it was illegal before that. But uh, there were certain weapons at California 101 that they uh, that they got they went down against uh, the Tech Nine. There was what, 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 uh, the SKS. Are these like bazookas? Like a huh? bazooka? Or what, what well, a bazooka it's a military. It's a military device. It's not necessary to be in the hands of a civilian. But, 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 well, that's all we're saying about so, the AR-15 is because the of the technology. It's no, no. The, it's, 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 how many rounds? How many rounds do the kid in Parkland shoot? How many I don't rounds? Know, but all I know is they're limiting the size of the magazines on the on these ARs. They're a semi-automatic weapon. They're a legal weapon. They they have. Yeah, but it's it, it's it's the damage they do as well as the speed. No, of the, know, of the, of the, anything the, can do damage. <laughs> I can do damage with my forty-five nineteen eleven. No, uh, no, we're, we're talking point, about so. evisceration of of bodies. That's the point. It's got to be a definition. Repair. I, I can yeah. All I'm saying is I'm still not, uh, uh, Max is smiling, I'm still not getting my definition of what is an arm. There's got to be a definition. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, arm is any kind of weapon, but... Okay, well, then I could... Okay, then so I, then, the, you you can, you, then if I suddenly... If I suddenly 
put why together it, put together a nuclear people? a nuclear device which would make me kind of almost a possible terrorist i should have the right to have that nuclear device well i don't agree with you well the, but that, no, but the, no no now you're interpreting the constitution no. what right. what yeah, lapierre yeah, wants is for you to, what lapierre wants is for you to take the constitution literally and say that he has the right to bear arms and it shall well, not be they, infringed and so i have the right to bear arms therefore if i want a nuclear device i should be allowed to have one well that's a rocket it's different no it's than, not a rocket it is an arm it's an arm it's, yeah well, I when you talk you about blow, when blow you talk about, when you talk about it. arms, when you talk about arms that a country has that they use in war <clears> and so on, right. a nuclear okay. device hey, is hey. considered an arm. Am I right? Well, Kevin no, is going I yes. Will not, I will not fall for your syllogistic reasoning. Hey, 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 hey Phil, why can't I have brass knuckles? Hitler used. <laughs> That's not even a gun. Why can't I have them? You can have them. Just don't. Get <laughs> You know, and, I mean, yeah. you could you could argue that like you know, poison gas and stuff isn't an arm, but 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 certainly a nuclear device, an atom bomb, is an arm. It's no question no, about that's, it. That's a weapon of mass destruction. No, now you're defining, <laughs> Phil. Why is that? Hey, hey. Now and you're that's doing that's now that's you're doing what you accuse me of doing. So <laughs> so if you're going to define, <laughs> then let's look at the Constitution where it says in order to maintain a well-ordered militia, in which there right. is a caveat on how you can own a gun. And you have to belong to a well-ordered militia, of which I don't know any. Or uh, maybe for an atomic bomb. Because the reason why that word, uh, well-ordered militia, was included in the Constitution is because the Constitution and that particular amendment are archaic. I think they also had right, a little bunch of guys with muskets. Where they yes, said right. I want my right to own a musket, damn it. A bunch of guys with muskets in those days... We're standing around, packing their muskets. That's yeah. because other people were shooting at them with arrows and other muskets. Okay. Oh, no. But that's no, what the no, damn no, thing was no, written on. You know, in I San Bernardino, paper. in San Bernardino, what kind of gun did the guy use? I don't remember. Uh -huh. It was a it, fucking it, gun. It, it, yeah. it was uh -huh. a what? It was an AR-14. AR, yeah, four, 15. 15. Uh, okay. uh, and uh, so that's a semi-automatic. So if you're going to fight fire, you got to fight it with fire. And uh, you, you don't want to go to a a, a, um, a knife. Uh, you don't want to go to a gunfight with a knife. Or, okay, so or, if, I had, my, uh, if I had my nuclear uh, bomb, I would take care of it. Now we're getting into syllogisms. Yes, uh, but... Statistic uh, reasoning. Uh, you know, um, I, it, it's just that, you know, it, it, this argument uh, right now, this is the argument du jour. I mean, we have a lot of listeners tonight, and we've had a lot of listeners pretty <laughs> constantly throughout the evening. I, In fact, it's turning it's out now that the people aren't really even listening to the audio stream anymore. They want to watch this whole thing Tim, go Tim, on. Tim will tell you. It's they the want to see a guy who believes in guns who looks like Lewis Black. That's what they want to see. Uh, okay. uh, hey, Alex, this is Tim. No, Tim, hang on a second. So the shooter in Las Vegas went through 1,200 bullets in that time period. And he had a what? He had a lot of guns. And the one he shot with, though. He had a lot of guns, and I, he had I think it was uh, an AR because they used a bump stock. Yeah. Yeah. So, right, that was the bump stock thing. The you know, it's bullet. funny that the president wants to get rid of bump stocks, but only one of these incidents even involved a bump, um, bump stock. Yeah, that's why it's a It's just of he's saying it so that he sounds exactly. like he's doing something. <laughs> look at the amount of people that were killed and wounded uh, due to this bump stock. And, yeah. you know, yeah, but, but, but only students. one incident with a bump stock. It's not like if you do away with bump stocks, right. all of a sudden the problem is solved. No, but it, it took a semi-automatic weapon and it made it much more uh, dangerous. Yeah, I agree. Hey, hey Alex, this yeah. is Tim. Yeah. You, you know, the reason that these weapon discussions are so visceral, yeah. it literally goes back to the beginning of civilization mm -hmm. when we picked up weapons for the first time like the ape did in, in uh, 2001, The Space Odyssey. Blink shots. Started using tools. Now we and just, the, first, yeah. one, the first thing we used tools for was to kill other Blink humans. Uh, let me, let me uh, we've just been joined by Bree at the last minute here, and he is... Uh, and we haven't... We haven't did, evolved. Uh, yeah. uh, did, we, did, we, did you and, call and, laugh at us, Bree? We've jo been joined by Bree. Yeah. Yes, and uh, Bree is well. calling us from uh, du Dubai. 
or Dubai, yeah. what, however you want to pronounce it. <laughs> what well, you- Alex, this is one of the things, you know, that uh, I like the fact that I know at my kid's school, there are no guns and there are, there are no drugs for that matter. And it's just a fact of the matter. It's not going to happen. So, you know, that's a big thing for me. Are, are, there, are, are your kids with you in Dubai? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And when I look at uh, back at the States, this look, some things, things are going to have to be done because these are going to, it's just going to keep happening and it's going to get worse. And, you know, the arguments that are used on the other side, they're just, uh, you can't just keep repeating the same talking points as more and more people are terrorized and killed. You can't. Oh, right. It, and they it's, do. I mean, Dr. right. Brady, but uh, what about the other rights that you don't have in, in Dubai? The fact that you, you got to watch what you wear, you got to watch what you say, that uh, you, you can't go to certain hey, movies. I have without to them. watch what I wear. I can't and, walk down the street naked he's, here. He's a man. He's a white man. The only people that get hassled like that are the women over there. So, no. You're, so no you're wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold on a, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Uh, Bree, oh, so de- defend Dubai. They, they obviously have the wrong That's country. In Whole- they, think, they think I'm in Saudi Arabia, which... Or Iran, which I'm not. I'm in the UAE. I'm in Dubai. We, it, this city. Where do you live, Phil? What's your city? Uh, Walnut it's, Creek. It's near oh, San Francisco. We're so we're so much more advanced than you here. So much more. <laughs> I mean, we just blow that away. You're, you know. It, the I'm only, sure. You know when when the spaceship came down and took your bodies. No, and that's right. We we just pod. launched a satellite that they have. Uh, UAE is planning a, a city on Mars. In 100 years. You know, you know so is that guy. That guy. <laughs> what? He's an immigrant. He's like Musk. He wasn't what born. What about? Here. What Elon about? Musk was not born in the United States. Yeah, but he's a U.S. citizen. Uh, only partially. He holds multiple passports. Yeah. Uh, but, Bree, I mean, uh, I, I, I think, you know, uh, uh, f- excuse Phil, but he doesn't have a full grasp of what Dubai is like. <laughs> uh, or the rest of the world. Yeah, I mean, they're going to have certain rules in certain places, just like they do. Uh, you know, we have beaches that are nude beaches, and other beaches that say you must wear clothing. You know, I mean, uh, there are and there are certain customs in certain countries, but these are not. It's not like they're going to chop your dick off because you're yeah, wearing a pair of years, shorts. Uh, in the next couple of years, there's two places I want to visit. I'm One trying is to get an answer. And, I'm trying to get and, an answer from Bree. Oh, and and well, for for Bree to understand. Well, no, but you're monopolizing what I'm trying to do with Bree. <laughs> There's the Maldives, and and the Maldives. Oh, yeah, are this a, is another. Wh- this is another. What about? I wouldn't go there now. Another what about? Right uh, 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 yeah. Anyway, as, 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 am I right, Bree? I mean, it's a little more liberal than most people imagine. They, they, yeah. Yeah. They try to think of it as being like Saudi Arabia, which, by the way, is becoming less oppressive. Uh, and, yes, unless a maid is accused of uh, doing something to a uh, a woman, uh, said that she was raped, and they arrested her for being raped in the UAE. But we're not talking well, about, you know, the U- well, oh, about the UAE. In the UAE, no, Phil. You take you take certain examples that that get highlighted because they fit a frame, a certain frame. The thing that I'm often amazed by is that we have stories in the U.S. that are far more wacky. But people just dismiss it. I don't know why. Like, they, but when they see it from another country, they're like, "Oh, that's representative of the entire country all the time." But I can tell you stories that I see from the U.S. and I'm just like, "What? What is that? Like, what is going on there?" And and yet somehow we dismiss it. Subject. Hey, listen, Bree. Oh. Bree can send his kid to school and not have to worry about it. Okay, enough said. Let's say something against and and, and Kevin. And you, we used to be able to. And, la- and, and, and last week on this program, I think it was on Friday night, you said, I worry about my child every time she goes to school now. Yep. So there, you know. Uh, and, you know. and we have to live that way because of people like. Wow. That music's we're, a little we're loud. in a place where if you send your kid to school with aspirin, they, they get uh, they get suspended. Again, California. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, the music was a little loud there, folks. Hey, listen, we're run out of time. This has been terrific, especially with that remote from the school down in Florida. That was uh, that was a treat. Thanks uh, to uh, uh, oil flush. Yeah, yeah. Charlene, thank you. 
Thank you, Vernon. Thank you. Max, always love hearing from me in Germany. He's in Germany. Bree's in Dubai. The other guy was outside the school in Florida. That's what's wonderful about this. Thank you very much, Phil, as usual. Uh, uh, Tim, thank you for being here, as well as Jeff Stein. Kevin, our very own in-house Santa Claus. Renee Collins in Hawaii. See, we got Hawaii's rep- we got We're all over the globe on this show. We're also all over the place in the discussion. And Bob Eber, <laughs> thank you for being here. Bree, too. I would like it if all of you would give a big wave goodbye to our audience so they can uh, they can see you. There they are, ladies and gentlemen, our citizens panel. Thank you. Thanks for ending the week. Really great. Thank you. Bye-bye. Anyway, that's, uh, that's it. Um, let me uh, get rid of them here. So the next show can use the lines, which we have been monopolizing for the last couple of hours. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll be back again. Well, next is Jack and Amy with the uh, intersection. And followed by that, by, after that at uh, 1 o'clock in the morning Eastern time is Connections. Uh, next Tuesday at uh, 9.30, the whole slate of programs here begins with the... Uh, the exchange with Damian Chaplin, and then I will see you at 10 p.m. Eastern Time for another edition of The Ramble. And uh, I'll see you then. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you happen to see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye, everybody. Bye.